start. All right, here we go. Coffee or espresso? Uh, coffee. Weed or booze? Uh, booze. Brooklyn or Queens? Brooklyn. Vodka, gin, martini? Uh, vodka. Thick or thin crumb pe- crust pizza? Thin. The mountains or the cities? Ooh, cities. That's tough, but cities. Buttermilk biscuits or cornbread? Oh, yes and yes. Um, do idea. I have to choose? Like, geez. Yeah. Uh, Jesus and uh, cheese. Butter, <laughs> I guess. Buttermilk biscuits. Oh, that's ski tough. Ski or snowboard? Uh, ski. Green or red chili? Uh, green. Subaru or the subway? Oh, I would always say the subway, man. Always. Yeah. You hadn't been here long enough. Just wait till you get a Subaru. They're so reliable. My, and they're, so they last, reliable. they're on the road longer than I, any other car out there. They're they're so reliable. Plug, I will take the subway. Yeah. Shout out Subaru if you want to sponsor. <laughs> looking for podcast? a sponsorship? Yeah. Not really, but we're all doors <laughs> always not? open. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Anybody wants to give us a, a food truck? We're down. We'll sponsor that shit. Okay. Yeah. Noted. Right, vice versa. Noted. Breakfast or dinner? Uh, oh, God. Dinner? Nice. Tacos or a burger? Oh, that's tough, too. You guys are bringing the hard questions. Thanks. I'm going to go burger. Sazerac or joint? Um, Sazerac. Easter, Fancy cocktail? Come on. East or West Coast wrap? Um, ooh, that's tough, too. East Coast. Got to stay loyal. Yes, uh, as a southerner, I'm truly loyal to <laughs> East Coast rap. Um, but yeah, I guess I mean it's closer. Coast, yeah, and technically, even if you were up there for 20 years, I mean you weren't technically at home in college. So when you went to college at 14, I mean you were you lived in New York longer than <laughs> Doogie anywhere. Hauser over I here. I did live in New York City longer than anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. So you are technically a New Yorker. I can I can be a New Yorker. Is it, do you have a, do you take one of those teams as your team, like baseball and football? Uh, I don't really. Okay, yeah, cool. well, I don't you want to find yeah. out sports. That, see, there you yeah. go. That's a bonus. Um, so you're not technically out of the woods. This is where our real hard. This is like the last section of the SAT when you still have three hours okay. left, but everyone else okay. has 30 minutes left. Okay. This is where we really get it down here. This is called Stone Appetit, presented by <laughs> Live Well Help, Weed. I like that accent. Buy it from there. Um, it's from the French, yeah. from the French side of Mississippi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they call that Louisiana. Oh, there you go. That's a good point. They do indeed. Born in Baton Rouge. No, there you go. Um, Legit. Chris, I'll let you ask a question because yeah. I'm too. All right. So, so here we go, man. All right. You're closing up a huge night of work or whatever. You're not around when your marketplace is to grab some food. You get home. What are you going to? Like, you're a little bit buzzed. Maybe you've had that Sazerac. What's Late night snack out of the fridge. I'm at home? Yeah. yeah. You got to make this out of the fridge. If, or, okay. Or the bodega. Or I'm your, not. The well, no, dude, I missed the corner bodega, man. That's tough. What that was, was your go-to? Did you get, like, gyros, as y'all call them? At my, in New York, when I was in New York? Yeah. No, Thai food. I live, my place in New York City was within... One block of three different fantastic Thai food places, and they were incredible. So that would be late night every time. 24-hour guys? Um, one of them stayed open till like, 2 or 3. Uh, the rest closed at, I don't know, midnight or 1 or something like that. Sketchiest shit you ever saw in the subway? Oh, man. Um, people masturbating? I've seen times. a couple of those. I mean, a lot of subway rides in my time. So, yeah. yep, definitely seen some masturbation Fights. situations. Um, never saw a real physical fight. Um, one dude hitting himself once, which was kind subway of a fight. Oh, that, that, yeah. You can see that on the Colfax 15 as well if you ever get the edge. <laughs> See? Okay. Noted. Noted. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so in Denver, though, since we don't have those bodegas, yes. What's so? Uh, I'm, what are you grabbing? I mean, I'm probably leftovers. So my boyfriend's an amazing cook, amazing. And so I'll eat whatever he's made before. And we live together, so that's helpful. Does he, um, does I'm he not get cooking pissed anything. if he wakes up in the morning and you've come in there and smashed all the leftovers? No, 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 no. Chris and I live together, and I wonder that I'll like I'll be like that's a full jar of chicken. If I eat, <laughs> I'll make sure to leave some. If it's really good, you be yeah, but I'll leave like two bites. <laughs> like, hey, you really should you try. Kind of reorganize I, it to where I, it's like I'm good oh, at that actually. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll make some you know some rice, adjustments rice, to the yeah. Here's, there's some rice with. on the bottom of that. Why not? Yeah, for N- sure. Nudes are the same way. You can do like Asian noodles. You can like stir that around. Like, it's not it nearly as tall as the sauce. Yeah, put one it in a different too. container so it looks like there's more of oh, it. Just put it in a evil. smaller <laughs> container. That's smart, sir. That's Thank you very much. That's, that's, what, that, that's, that's where right. Bandy gets you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, classic is you stayed over here microwave in a <laughs> styrofoam box. <laughs> Leaving the fork in there. Yeah, the metal one. And the, the aluminum foil as well. 
We made a couple bombs in our day. I bet All right, have. so I bet you have. Shout, right. shout out to your man for so, cooking shout good out to leftovers. There you yeah. go. Okay, um, I was gonna ask, what was the go-to meals? Like tacos or fire, or does he have like a go-to dish that you're like, fuck yeah? That he makes. That like you know leftovers are gonna be the best. Um, you're like, yes, I hope we have leftover lamb. Killer from risotto. Really good risotto, and that can last for a while, right? So With that's all good. that butter, and you kind of see it like oh, congeal yes, all the time. Like, guess yes, you stirred that yes, shit up? And it then, up. <laughs> so when we met, Jay lived in Chinatown uh, in Philly. And so he would, you know, eat and drink food in Chinatown all the time and picked up that influence. And now he makes really killer Asian-inspired dishes. All right. Nice. Shout out. We Dang love that. Asian food. So I grew up with like teppanyaki. Was over. It. Like teppanyaki was the restaurant. We had, oh, like cheap teppanyaki. Just, okay, like Mr. Hoes. We had Mr. Hoes. Oh, Chinese buffet. We had one Chinese buffet restaurant. Love Wait, do y'all really buffet. call it buffet? That's no, not no I just I say uh, that. And okay. I was just no, picking him up to make him feel okay. good. Yeah, I, was yeah, like, yeah. I was thinking Phoebe from Friends. Oh yeah, of course. Phoebe did not work at a Chinese restaurant. I don't think. Yeah, if they say buffet for real, I'm gonna strangle both of them with. We really don't. We really don't. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say buffet. It's a buffet. Oh. We had a Chinese buffet. It was yeah. called Mr. Mister Ho's. I think we had yep. a Mr. Chin's. Yep, that was our, my only experience with Chinese food until I got to college. I think we had a Chinese palace. I think that's what ours was. You have concocted this thing like seven different ways. I hope everyone can hear you. I think they can. Yeah, it sounds good. All right, so um, this is going to be a question that we're all, it's a barn burner. Okay, bring it <laughs> on. First off, do you believe in dinosaurs? <laughs> Uh, yes. I've, uh, I've heard you ask this question to people, so I don't know if that's fair Classic. or not. Damn it. I haven't, no one said All no right. yet, well, right? Then let's say, what did, what did you want to be growing up? Look at what, I threw that. Did you want what, to be a dinosaur? I did, I don't think I wanted to be an actual dinosaur. If you could be any super, up. if you could have any superpower, what would you Superpower? Uh, up, flight. Since he already knows no, flight. Password. I'd like to flight. fly. That'd be fun. Would you take flight over teleportation? Oh, that's tough. No, I think, oh. I feel Can we like teleport you, short distances or long distances also? I think both. So, like, if you wanted to go teleport from here to here, so I can teleport just keep from, like, over. here to London to Tel Aviv to Miami I, and back. I think so. I'll do teleportation. Yeah. So, I think It'll if I, like, teleport so right now, energy. I just, like, show up in London, like, boom, chilling in one It just depends on how fast you can fucking fly, though. Right. Yeah, but fly, it's got to take, I mean, it I would you take fly, long. you're going to be exhausted. That's true. Right? I, teleport, I don't know. There. Let's say that you fly at, like, the average speed of a, a night <laughs> Um, you know, or a I mean, silver I'm no server. physicist. Yeah. However, I shit my pants every time I teleport, so I just stop doing it altogether. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, Noted. Noted. Um, okay, so what kind of teleport. dinosaur would you be? I would be? teleport. I would be, you see what I did? I made a you, long you're loop. You're tricking me. You're tricking me. Um, I, so this is consistent, though. I think I'd be a pterodactyl. Yeah, I was about well, to say yeah, that. He said Those fly. Those ass yeah. dudes that, like, yeah, I would There's be a pterodactyl. There's other fucking dinosaurs that fly. There's got to be other ones. You know, Jay should be just here because he's an expert. Yeah. Yeah. Jay, you've been challenged to come join us on the podcast. Right. Come All on. Right. We haven't even eaten um, our Rocky Mountain I slices just, yet today. I can't name another dinosaur that flies. I'm not. Yeah, I can't either. Inside. We'll find one out. Actually, I do believe in them. In all, in the words of... Uh, Sean William Scott in the movie Role Models. Actually, dinosaurs are not extinct because birds are dinosaurs and they are everywhere. Oh, so nice. take that. So I'd be a bald eagle rotating it around. Nice. I should I should have said dragonfly. Is that your jam? Is that they your, were around. Was, no, they were around back in the day. Oh, or a mosquito. Like, those things were around. Yeah, but they're the worst. Park. I don't want to be Yeah, that. that's how they made Jurassic Park. Duh. It's a real movie. Yeah, um, it happened. Okay, so you've answered all of our questions. You've literally wasted two hours of your time hanging out with us. We apologize for that. It's been a blast. Luckily, we didn't work on the Upper East End or side or whatever, <laughs> so we're not going to pay you at that hourly rate. But we do thank you for coming on. Thank you for telling us about, you know, your story of creating Oh Hey Creative to how you helped kind of mold and shape what I would say is a revolutionary or in industrialized, you know, revolution here in Denver. That was the word I was looking for. Dude, these spots are on the map. I, I mean, you places guys. talk about Stanley, yeah, you know, and I'm you. sure they'll talk about Broadway. I, I couldn't agree more. I mean, you, uh, you've built great relationships in the community with uh, validated, uh, I guess, proof as well. The proof is in the pudding, and you have everything from James Beard Award winners to the top ten bakers in America, all of which, you know, you can find here on No Vacancy Colorado's right. podcast. Boom! That's a call. It's a good segue a right, there. right yeah. there. Good job. Good segue. That was the word I was. Yep. Looking for. That too. No, thank you guys. It's been a lot of fun.
Man, Brian, we appreciate it. And again, for our listeners, if you're curious, we have Broadway Marketplace 9th and Broadway. It just opened up about eight weeks ago. That's correct. It's it's just a, it's pretty much a food hall of dankness with you know primo chefs from around the area. I so know. much good food. So much good food in there, man. We feel really lucky to be working with those people. So, so much good food. And then the OG, the original out in Stanley, out in, I I call it Stapleton, but like you said, Northwest Aurora. Yeah, so actually the the Denver-Aurora border runs through our property on two sides. So we're in Aurora. So I actually think I see that when I do the Uber, because sometimes, and it's by the way, for those that want to Uber, it's not too expensive from the downtown area uh, or those surrounding neighborhoods. It takes me 16 minutes to drive there from Rhino. It's easy. You just jump on 70, and it's like you're off in a minute. So Come on out there, eat dank food, shop, maybe do some yoga and shit. I don't know. <laughs> Healthy stuff, smoke smoke cigarettes, smoke bowls. Um, do we have anything else, Chris? Do we want to send anybody off with any message? I mean, if you haven't checked out these food halls, go check them out. They've got everything for you. And you got a great day night out of the net. That's true. That's if you want to impress the That's lady. good call. Yeah. All right. Well, until next week, we say uh, stay hungry, stay thirsty, and uh, stone up a D. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.